All right, I'm in the Duramax today, and uh, I got a little bit of what I describe as a fuel knock issue. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, on my way over to the parts store, I apologize if I'm blinking a lot. I got scratched in my eye the other day. It still kind of bothers me, but it's, it's a lot better. But, uh, on my way over to the parts store, Get a fuel filter and a couple other things. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to try to fix the issue that I got going on. Um, you can hear. set up here. All I'm doing is I'm using this product called Diesel Purge by Liquid Molly. Um, I've used this before on my TDI and it, it seemed to clean up a lot of the smoke and things like that. So come back here you've got your supply from and return to the tank and there are those uh, those I don't know what the hell you call them. They come, they're uh, like an internal disconnect. They come off of these fittings and they're half inch and three eighths respectively. Um, and as you can see, I've just got them. I just got, there's, each of these is a half a liter. And I just, I got two bottles poured into this jug. I think it'll be all right. Um, it's a windshield washer fluid jug. It is clean on the inside. It doesn't look, doesn't look like that on the outside. But, uh, so I've got them in there. And they didn't have any half inch line. <coughs> so I've got 7 sixteenths and 3 eighths. And they went on there fine. The 7 sixteenths is a little snug on the half inch fitting. But it, 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 you know, it fit, fit well. There's no barbs on the, on the fitting. So that's why it worked. Um, I've also got a new fuel filter. So I'll show you how to do the fuel filter when I'm all done. All we're going to do is, and I never have had to open the, the uh, bleed screw. I'm just going to pump this. Let's try that. It'll probably die on me, but... I'm going to set the timer on the truck so we know how long this takes just out of curiosity. As you can see, it is pumping. It's hard to see, but believe me, it is. Let's run for a little while. Okay, as you can see, it's not all gone. Obviously, the truck's still running. Uh, I don't want to run it dry because it's bad for the pump. But see how long it's done. Okay, so just about 40 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the truck off. And uh, so the rest of that I'll just take and dump in the tank because you can you can run it you know in conjunction with fuel too. You know, real quick show you how to hook this back up. Okay, now this is all gonna be piping fucking hot. So. 
that's gonna be awesome. That one goes on there. Hear it click. Goes on there. You get these little doodads. Make sure you get this shit all over your hands when you're doing it. Like that. There you go. Okay, let's hook back up. Wet my hand. Okay, so this is all your water and fuel sensor is. All it is is just a little float with a uh, density the, between that of diesel fuel and water. So when it's all that's in there is diesel fuel, it sits on the bottom, and as soon as any water gets in there, which is obviously more dense, floats up. So that's all that is. Okay, um, I just threw the fuel filter in quick. It was getting pretty dark and I wanted, wanted to get it done before the rain came so I just, it's easy. If you've ever done one, all you do is pull the wheel liner out. It's the easiest way to do it. Pull the water and fuel sensor out of the bottom. Uh, and it's, it's just like an oil filter. Uh, I do think that fixed the problem. Uh, I, I think it was more or less the fuel filter than anything. Because it was, it had about 13 or 14,000 miles on it. It said it was still a 20% life, but it's cheap insurance. $50 fuel filter is a lot less than injectors or a CP3. So, um, 